Hello friends, welcome to Wake Love Wave Studios. Today we will discuss why was Carrie Minati's video deleted. So we will come to know after this video. So it's a request. Please watch this video till end. So let's start with the basics. So why was Carrie Minati's video deleted? That's a very important question of this whole video. Okay, let me come into the facts first. The video that Carrie Minyati posted on May 8, 2020, the title of the video was YouTube vs TikTok The End. The video became an internet sensation as the YouTuber expressed his opinion about the feud that the creators of the two platform had against each other. So let me tell you the two platform which I'm talking about right now is YouTube and TikTok. YouTube removed the video based on its harassment policy in that it had updated in December 2019 stating that they will not tolerate harassment. Here are the paragraphs from the privacy policy under which the harassment clause is written and based on which the video was deleted. So you can see on the screen, this is the policy which is provided by YouTube. So any people who will be doing harassment will be a victim of such kind of thing. But the question again, why did YouTube wait so much for the views to get more extended? Now coming to another fact. What was actually in that video? So, Kari Minyati took to, took to his YouTube account after his fans requested him to make a video on TikToker Amir Siddiqui. Amir Sid had made a long TikTok video where he gave opinion on why TikTok is better and has more content than YouTube. So, this, Amir Siddiqui has expressed his view on the, on the matter of fact that he thinks that TikTok is more better platform than YouTube. Now, he tagged all the major names of his video like Kari Minyati himself, along with Bhuvan Bam, Ashish Chanchalani and many others. This was what made the fan urge Kari Minyati to make a video roasting Amir Siddiqui. So those who don't know what the Kari Minyatis do, I know there will be thousand uh, uh, there will be only one people out of thousand, just an example, who doesn't know what does Kari Minati do. So Kari Minati makes a roast video. If you remember in the past of AIB, the roasters, kind of similar kind of thing. So I don't want to uh, de go deep into the content, but just want to tell you that he makes a roast video. While Kari is known for his reaction and roast, this was the first time that his, his target was a single individual. Minyati pointed out how TikTok videos are way shorter than YouTube and thus slammed Amir's claim. And thus slammed Amir's claim. Just I'm mentioning two times the thing because about how TikTok is more difficult platform. So he just, so it was kind of to make, uh, Siddiqui's kind of fun that he thinks that TikTok is more, uh, more. Uh, uh, it means that he thinks that TikTok was more difficult platform and uh, YouTube is not a difficult platform. Now, Siddiqui said YouTubers make their content for sympathy and are working on a, on a kind of uh, you can say bandwagon, and as all of them make videos on one topic at the same time. Yeah, so now if you see uh, the video which I'm creating right now will be available in many videos. It will be, uh, there are so many videos after when Carrie Minetti's video got deleted. So many videos has came into this platform. Everyone wanted to express his views and their views can be expressed in different ways. Like I prepared one video in Hindi. You also go and watch that video. In that it was a fact. We have uh, provided some facts which we uh, got analysis from our different sources. Now this video is the purpose for a global attention. So to make sh to make them aware of what is happening here. Now the success of YouTube versus TikTok the end. 
the success of this video was immerse okay it has reached 16.6 million subscribers okay and it had brought to 72 crore views before it removed by youtube so the question is still why did youtube wait for 70 crore views and then after that he deleted the video if it was against the policy then the video should have been deleted at the first moment itself why there was so much a waiting period that is what i think should be a question secondly the content we should not go into the content because it depends how do people uh, prepare their content likewise i am preparing a content it depends on the person to person preparing the content in different platform it doesn't mean that the platform is short or small or big or huge so i believe any person who is doing something good something work worthy is obviously uh, obviously making the use of the platform and online platform is for everyone and i'm not sure uh, who who who's uh, who did wrong or who did right but the main question in my mind is why did youtube waited for so long but anyways it's uh, i am not going against against youtube or against tiktok something i just wanted to understand what is the policy if someone uses harassment or someone uses abusive language in their content and do youtube has to wait to analyze them and then take an action because the video was prepared on 8 may and it was deleted yesterday so it's totally it's totally four of third five days it took you youtube to analyze so that that was i am just thinking of or or is it that people youtube uh, internal team uh, may have manually go it's not a system generated kind of thing to determine whether the video is having abusive content so i understand it takes time to uh, to uh, to prepare the analysis like we did after just you see that after only one day when the youtube video got deleted just after one day uh, there are so many videos that why youtube deleted why why uh, and there firstly people didn't understand how the video got deleted so the answer is still not known so i hope you love the video and if you uh, really appreciate uh, our content our views our thoughts so do subscribe to our channel which is Eclavis Studios.